All right, here's a quick video of this 93, 24 foot long uh, Terry. It's a Terry Resort. Uh, this trailer's been in a trailer park for over 10 years, so everything works. Um, the guy uh, been living in it there. Uh, it, I'll just tell you about all the good stuff first, and then we'll get to the uh, why the price is so cheap. So uh, the good stuff here, we got a clear title. It's structurally sound. Uh, you know, there's no rust on the frame. Uh, everything's nice and solid. Uh, the original, uh, you know, uh, aluminum and all the windows are still in it. Uh, the tires are good. It tows well. Um, has the on off for your 12 volt there so you could shut that off um, everything works it's set up for off-grid so the 12 volt batteries work the pump works uh, you could have fresh water whether you're plugged in or not as long as your holding tank has got some water in it um, I have not tried to deploy this gigantic awning um, because one time I did that and I couldn't get it to go back in because I'm not really sure how to work them. I've never really used one. But the awning's there. It looks like it's in good shape. And the old man I bought it from, he's probably in his late 70s anyway. Uh, he says everything works. It has the air conditioner, although it's 30 amp. And you're not going to get it to come on when plugged into 15 amp household power like I am now. Uh, the tanks are have been flushed, and so there's no sewage in it or anything like that. Uh, this has a uh, working shower sink, flushing toilet, water at the sinks. Um, all the electrical's working. All right, I'm done talking this thing up. Let's go ahead and go in and take a look. Okay, so this old man been living in here for a long time. The guy smoked like a freight train. Uh, the ceiling, he said at one time it, we had some snow on it, water started dripping. Anyway, the ceiling panel there is, was falling down, so he's got it braced up. Um, I pulled these things down before and replaced the little one by two little joists there, and but use backsplash. You just buy four by eight backsplash and. That's what I replace ceiling panels with, so I'm not gonna fix this. There's also a lot of roof coating and sealant, tar paper, other things like that up on the roof. So, you know, it is what it is. You could tarp it and just forget about it or, you know, you could fix it. Okay, everything's in here. Um, this carpet definitely needs to go. Doesn't smell very great in here. Um, all this yellow on the walls is pretty much nicotine. Um, there's been a few places that I, I just used some apple cider vinegar and wiped it right off. Uh, the But it, it'd be a lot of elbow grease. Uh, the jack couch, it unfolds, becomes a bed. Although it's pretty dirty. It's usable though. Uh, we'll take a look in here. You can see, I mean, it's got a lot of good points about it. I mean... There's no noticeable roof leaks or anything. Most of the time, the water comes in around the air conditioner, and then the water will seep this way. It probably gathered here. That's my guess. Oh, oh anyway. So you could see that it it's doing... The fan's coming on a little bit, but you won't get much out of it without being plugged into 30 amp. All right, here's the little kitchen area. Uh, you could turn on the water pump. Oh, it's been left on. Okay, and so you can see that as long as you have water in your fresh water holding tank, you'll have water at all the faucets everywhere you need them. Uh, that's been on for I don't know how long. There's no plumbing leaks or anything like that. This little refrigerator's on and working. Put a few brewskis in there, a couple Mountain Dews. Uh, let's see, this is a fan. So like I said, you know, he's living in it, and so everything works. 
However, it doesn't get much dirtier. So the bathroom isn't bad, actually, other than the walls. No sinking ceilings or anything. Um, has a flushing toilet. Uh, this is like a piece of... Oh, that's, that's a heat register that's covered up there. Um, but you can see the, you know, that um, linoleum is the original stuff. And the floors are solid. I don't see any soft spots in it any place. Uh, we got water everywhere. Uh, the shower works pretty good. You know, especially just for being on 12 volt power. That there. Uh, when you're hooked up to city water with a garden hose, you got more pressure than that because that's all you get out of the 12 volt pump. But it works and the shower's in reasonably good condition. Little pantry area here. That light automatically comes on when you open that door. Um, it has this big partition here that separates the bedroom. Okay, so in the bedroom, again, the floors seem pretty solid. There's a piece of plywood here. When I asked him about it, he says he spent most of his time here and starting to get a little bouncy here. Uh, there's also a piece of plywood on the other side. I lifted it up. You know, there's no holes or anything. It seems about the same. So I just left them in here. You can do what you want with them. Uh, the ceiling in here, there's no leaks. There's, it's not falling down. It's just nicotine. I mean, I'm sure you could see that. Uh, peroxide, uh, apple cider vinegar, uh, hot bleach water. There's lots of things that you could use to just wipe the nicotine right off. You know, if you're willing to do a little elbow grease in a day, you could have all the nicotine out of here. You see this little spot right here that I just wipe that with a hot rag. All right, well, I'll end this video and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for looking. Oh, I got this little voltage tester here. It's pretty cool. You can um, verify that there's uh, power at all these outlets here. So no power. It'll turn red when there's power. Power, power. So, uh, so yeah. I mean, no issues with anything there. Oh, yeah, there's power at this switch, too.